The Death of Nero This is an account of how Nero was driven from power, and how the image of Nero reappeared several times to threaten Rome, long after his apparent death. In AD 65, a group of plotters agreed that the emperor would have to be murdered, and it would have to be done in public, in full view of the people, enacted before adoring crowds, Tacitus reports. Nero would go to the entertainments at the circus racetrack. Here access to him was easier, since he was fully engrossed in the spectacle. Details of the plot were arranged. Laternius was a man of strong nerve and had a huge frame. He was to throw himself at the emperor's feet, earnestly appealing for funds to repay his financial debts. He would launch himself at Nero, hurling him to the ground and holding him down. When the emperor was prostrate and powerless, the tribunes and centurions, and all the others who had sufficient daring, were to rush upon him and commit the murder. Scavinius claimed the first strike. He carried a dagger, a sacrificial weapon, as though it were dedicated to doing some noble deed. Scavinius had taken this dagger from the Temple of Safety, or, according to another account, from the Temple of Fortune in the town of Frentum. Tacitus, The Annals, Book 15, Passage 53 But why take such a risk and butcher the Emperor in full view of the Roman people? The deed could have been conducted in secret. One of the main participants in the plot, and the most likely to be acclaimed the next Emperor, was a man named Piso. Tacitus confirms that Nero often entered Piso's villa, unguarded and without the cumbersome grandeur of his rank. Perhaps this act was viewed as unsanctified, or perhaps the plotters distrusted the resolve of their fellow conspirators. Or maybe they understood only too well that, in order to convince the people that Nero was dead, the emperor had to die in public to fully destroy his image and legacy. By chance, the plot was discovered. Its details were betrayed, and the conspirators were rounded up and eliminated. Nero lived. For now. This lecture series will consider the death of Nero, and the Nero impersonators who came afterwards.